Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com. We're going to get into some for-flight flight planning today, especially and particularly for the IFR environment. Let's start by taking a look at our iPad here. So we're going to be departing the Melbourne Airport, as you can see right here, and we're going to be heading all the way up back home up to Ocala. You can actually see us in the studio right there as to where we're at. Now let's say we're down at Melbourne here and in Melbourne we call up clearance delivery and we receive the following clearance. Let's say we hear 2-3 Mike Zulu, you're cleared to Oscar, Charlie, Foxtrot, the Ocala Airport via Deary, D. E A R Y Victor 537 and then Ocala. Uh, 2000, 8000 in 10 minutes, 118.6 is our frequency, and 1234 is our squawk code. That's the, the frequency and transponder are less important to what we're trying to actually accomplish here. What I want to accomplish is that actual routing. Deary, Victor 537, then up to Ocala. Let's go back to the iPad and see how we could actually map that out. And I'll show you some great kind of shortcuts here. So leaving the scratch pad here, we'll go back over to our maps. And where I want to start is just by looking at my low and root chart. So I can see I'm leaving Melbourne and I'm heading to Deary right here. From there on Deary, I'm continuing up. You can see Victor 537. So this is the Jimu intersection. Again, who names these intersections? It looks like it dog legs off at Presque. See Presque there. And Victor 537 continues up this way. See it there. Up to Sermo for another dog leg. All the way on up and then into the Ocala Airport, as we can see. All right, so let's do some work on this here. What I'm going to do is up in the top right-handed corner, I'm going to press where it says search. And I'm going to type in what I'm doing exactly. I'm departing Melbourne, so K-M-L-B, space. Where am I going next? I was told to go to Deary, D-E-A-R-Y, space. And now I want to do it via the Victor Airway. So Victor, and watch the numbers. See the T key right there? Well, that's also where the five is. I can press and pull down. So Victor, five, see how I pulled down there? On, onto the E key, where's the three, three, seven. That's how you can get numbers to come up very easily in four flight, just by pressing the key and literally kind of swiping down. So MLB to Deary to Victor, 537, and then into... Ocala here. Now, most people just press go from there, but there's even more we can actually do. What altitude was I told to? Well, 8,000. So I'll go over here to 8,000 feet. What airplane am I going to do this in if I want to take that a step further? November 2, 3, Mike, Zulu, and I'll press go. And just like that, my route is loaded. Now notice, all I did was put an MLB to Deary and then Victor 537. It knows all my minimum altitudes, as you can see the 3,000 feet, the 8,000 feet here. It knows the dog legs of Victor 537 and takes me all the way up and in to Ocala. But you all know me well enough to know in IFR flying, you never plan just to the airport because if this is a true IFR day, I'm shooting an approach in. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at what the Ocala Airport has to offer here. So I'm looking at airports. I'm going to the Ocala Airport and I'm pressing more here and I'm pulling up some details. From there, let's look at the forecast and see what the weather's doing. So uh, at 10 a.m., it's 080. Uh, here, let's say we're going to arrive around 1 p.m. The winds are from 110. It's going to be a good crosswind. The only approaches we have are 18 or 36, but still slightly favoring a 18 ish kind of day here. So I'll go back to my info. I'm going to scroll all the way down here 
to my approaches. You can see there's four approaches. I click on that. I have the RNAV GPS runway 18. I'm going to click where it says map and I'm going to send that approach plate right over to my map. And now I'm going to modify this plan because I know I'm going to end up flying an approach based on, let's say, how the fictitious weather is if it's a true IFR day. So what I'm going to do is I don't really need uh, this Vanny here, but I'll leave it there because after Vanny, I'm going to go ahead, intersection there, I'm going to go ahead and depart and I'm going to drag my route over to Samu, as you can see there. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to all here and select Samu and then I want to go into my next fix, which would be Kufcho and I can select those right there. And I've already now vectored myself and set myself up as if I'm going to shoot the RNAV GPS runway 18. I would then obviously go through and brief this entire approach. But here we are sitting on the ground and already working through all of our routing ahead of time. In next week's video, I'm going to actually take you towards and take you into the IFD 550 trainer. It's our Avidyne uh, GPS unit. And we have a fantastic trainer right on the iPad. And again, showing you how to do everything on the ground. Why? Because the airplane is a terrible classroom. Learn everything we can on the ground. So next week, I'm going to take this exact flight plan and I'm going to show you how to plug it into the Avidyne. So before you even leave the ground, this is all loaded and ready to go and you are on the same page. The iPad is on the same page with the Avidyne and it's on the same page with the pilot as well. Some great tips for staying ahead of the airplane. Hey, Sun and Fun is coming up, by the way. Hope you'll see us inside Hangar D, Hangar Delta. We're in booth 92. Myself and the great M0A.com team will be there all week. Also, September 21st and 22nd in Dallas, Texas, is Aviation Mastery number two. Aviation Mastery Orlando was a sold out audience and we had such an amazing time learning more about ForeFlight, about Avidyne, about Garmin, in-flight emergencies, radio communications, all these great topics. I hope to see you out in Dallas for Aviation Mastery 2 for some new great content as well. Can't wait to read your comments below this video on Facebook, on YouTube. Enjoy the rest of your day and most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. We'll see ya. I sincerely hope you loved watching this video. These videos you see online are simply just the tip of the iceberg of what we do here at M0A.com. M0A is a complete private instrument, commercial, and FOI online ground school. Everything is done at your own pace online. You watch our lessons, also online, take practice exams, all from any device. If you love these free videos we put out here on YouTube and Facebook, I encourage you to check out our complete online ground school for the knowledge test, check ride, and most importantly, setting you up to make you that safe real world pilot. Take a two week free trial, no strings attached, of our online ground school by visiting m0a.com forward slash trial.